Hi, good afternoon. It's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this 2015 on a 65 plate. It's a Volkswagen Caddy Maxi. It is the 1.6 TDI Euro 5 version. Uh, Ex-British gas, as you can see. Being ex-British gas, it is based on a start line van, uh, but then given some really nice additional specification. Uh, obviously, being ex-British gas, it's a one keeper from new van. It has covered 94,000 miles. Extra specification is the full electric pack, so that's electric windows and electric mirrors. You have uh, air conditioning, you have reverse parking sensors, it has DAB stereo radio with FM and AM, it has Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music as well. Uh, and twin side loading doors, as you can see, and overall in great all round condition. Steel wheels, as you can see at the moment, are a little bit tatty on it. We've got a different set of steel wheels to fit to it. So those are a nicely refurbished set of steel. So it will come with those on it. Um, so let's just give you an idea of what she's like from a condition point of view. Heading up here onto the roof, pretty clean and tidy. We've got a couple of really minor stone chips here. A bit of teacup polish and a touch-in will sort those out. But the roof itself, very straight and tidy, no damage up there. Obviously being ex-British gas, you get these aerial mounts. Uh, all British gas vans come with them. Just two on this one. Some of them come with an awful lot more. Coming down onto your windscreen, the windscreen is in good condition. Uh, no major stone chips. You will always get little micro chips on a windscreen just from age of use and all of that, but nothing major there that's gonna cause either of us any grief when it comes to MOT time. Coming down onto your bonnet. Bonnet is pretty clean and tidy. It was valeted yesterday. There's a couple of marks, just a little couple of little dirt marks arrived on it. Let's just get rid of those. Um, you know, minor stone chips we're looking at. So as you can see, minor, minor stuff. Uh, again, a touch-up pen uh, will get it looking pretty good. But as you can see from a distance, there's nothing substantial on there. I'm just pointing out to you the you know the minor stuff. Front of the van, as you can see, front grille, front bumper, all of the um, grills and vents, etc. Those are all in good condition. Driver's side headlamp unit, that's in good order. Driver's side front bumper corner, no scuffing there at all. That's all in good order. We have a very lightly loose bit of trim there. That will just, I'll have to move that back into place for you. They're very easily popped out, those are. Coming around to the passenger side, passenger side headlamp unit, that is all good passenger side front bumper corner exactly the same on the on the uh on the on the unit on the front there the little grill on the front there will pop that back into place but no scuffing that's all pretty good and if i look down the passenger side of the vehicle from this angle um no major dents or dings to point out to you actually really straight vehicle for the year this one now with these vehicles as you can see steel wheels are all suffering from corrosion we um as part of our the level of preparation that we do uh, we uh, constantly have a couple of sets of steel wheels at the refurbers, so we'll replace those with some nicely freshly refurbed steel wheels. But as you can see, um, British Gas run them with Michelin Cross Climate tyres on them. Uh, cross Climate tyres, have a look at those. As you can see, tyre tread depth's good on them. Um, they're like a winter tyre that can be used all year round, hence the Cross Climate bit. Um, so it gives you additional grip in the winter. A uh, really good tyre. Uh, passenger front wing, that's all good. Your side repeater there, that's all good. Quarter glass there is all good. Mirror unit secure and in good condition. Mirror unit itself all good. You got a little additional blind spot mirror fitted to that unit there. Passenger door glass is all good with no scratching on it. Passenger door itself, that's all good. Your side protective rubbing, rubber rubbing strip. Coming down the side of the vehicle is all in good order as well. Getting down low, looking at your seals. You have a little bit of something there, we'll just get that checked out. I think they've just slightly caught it there, but there's no major dents or dings on them. Passenger door handle is good. Looking at your passenger door uh, side edges. Again, no major damage on those. You'll always get little bits that need touching up, such as this little bit here. 
your passenger door handle, sliding door, that's all good. The sliding door itself, nice clean condition. Could probably do with a little bit of a mop. You can just make out some of the British gas logos on it in this light, um, but not unusual. So we'll have to just get that uh, machine polished for you. Rear quarter this side, that's all good. Again, no major damage. Fuel flap is here. We have the anti-fueling uh, device fitted to it there. Uh, we do have your standard fuel cap on board as well, but that's a, um, a special device British gas fit to stop you putting the wrong fuel in the vehicle. Your sliding door rail coming down the side here, that's all good. Passenger arch, etc. that's all clean and tidy. Again, steel wheel this side showing signs of corrosion. Again, you have a Michelin Cross Climate tyre. Again, tyre tread depth on that, all good. Your passenger rear quarter bumper corner, that's all good with no scuffing. Your lower reflector on the back, as you can see, is all in good condition. And the rear bumper itself is in good condition with no major signs of wear or tear. Rear light unit on the passenger side here, that's all in good order. And then coming around to the rear end of the vehicle, as you can see, you've got uh, barn doors on the back of this one. Uh, all the British gas vans are barn doors. Uh, so you have the uh, additional glazing. High level brake light is in all in good order. You have the additional security lock. And both doors, as you can see, are in nice, clean, tidy condition with no major wear or tear. Again, looking down the door strip on the side. So we've got a little chip there that could do with a touch in. And we have a little minor little chip and dent there. Again, could do with a little bit of a touch in. Your rear bumper, as you can see on the top of it, showing no major signs of wear or tear. And if we open it up from the inside, door opens up nicely and stays open as it should. Just looking at the inside of your rear doors, clean and tidy with no signs of any excessive wear or tear. Door cards on the back, as you can see, those are in nice tidy condition on both sides of the van. So these are security guards. You can remove these if you wanted to. Um, and then obviously you've got your glazed window behind. So inside, as you can see, you've got the British gas racking. Generally pretty useless to anybody other than British gas. If you don't want it in the van, we can remove this for you. Uh, and then at that point, you will have this nice hard wearing floor that is fitted to it. You have these nice additional LED lights inside. You've got one on the side there. And just look at the paintwork on the side here. Look, it's not been abused at all. Additional LED light strips inside the vehicle, as you can see. You know, some people might, you know, if you do want some of the racking, that's fine. It's not a problem at all. Just let us know what you what your thoughts are. But just having a look down the sides of everything, you can see it's in clean, tidy condition, isn't it? Uh, just the level of detail of our prep, as you can see, all of the inside of edges of the doors and stuff is in clean, tidy condition. I think we go a bit OCD on our prep. So, closing that door up here, I will show you on the inside of the vehicle from this side, because it is different on each side. Um, so this one is slightly differently kitted out to some of the British gas vans. Slightly less racking in this bit here, but you can see the flooring and stuff inside is in nice, tidy condition. Your entry steps, etc., on this side are all good. We have some handy little drawers there, look. Pockets and stuff you can throw stuff into. Sold quite a few of these for camper conversions now. It's the marketplace it's heading towards. Equally, sold plenty more just for work vans. Entry steps inside the passenger side of the vehicle, as you can see, the painted parts and the plastic parts are in good condition. As are your door cards. No signs of any major wear or tear on your door cards. They're clean and tidy inside as well. And look at your footwells. The footwells are clean and tidy. Now, the reason we have an airbag light on on the dashboard at the moment is because it's just had a seat out valet again that is the level of detail that we do on the vans so we actually remove the seats so we can clean properly underneath them because nobody wants somebody else's dirt in the current climate do they um obviously handbook 
uh, glove box handbook. There's your fuel flap if you want to put that one back on. Passenger seat, as you can see, the seat trim is very clean and tidy. No dodgy stains or anything there. They, those have also been cleaned properly. Plastic bulkhead, again with additional storage stuff behind it. And then you have additional storage above your head there as well. Coming around to driver's side. Driver's side, rear light unit and bumper corner is all good. Rear reflector down here, that's all good. As you can see, factory reverse parking sensors on it. And then looking down the driver's profile of the van from this angle, hopefully you can see no major dents or dings again to point out to you on this side, very straight. Your sliding door rail here, clean and tidy. Again, steel wheel that needs refurbing on this side, we'll get that sorted. Uh, tires, that one looks a little bit manky, doesn't it? Dare say we'll have to sort that one out. Lower seals, all good. Protective strip down the side of the vehicle, that's all good. Driver side rear quarter, that's all good. As is the upper quarter. Sliding door this side, again, all good. Driver side door, door glass, door mirrors. And your driver side front wing. All good. Steel wheel that side again, manky, needs sorting on it. Michelin tire again this side. Plenty of tire tread depth on that. Driver side of the vehicle, sliding door opens and slides nicely as you can see. Again, really clean and tidy around the edges, etc. Entry sills all on this side, okay. You know, minor, minor marks as you can see, but nothing substantial or major there. Good looking, isn't it? And then opening up the driver's side, driver's side door card again, nothing substantial in, this, in the way of wear or tear. It's clean and tidy in your door cards. There's your electric windows. You have electric heated mirrors and your central locking there. Your entry seals on this side. Again, driver side, the most worn one of the lot, but they, this one is pretty good condition, isn't it? Driver side floor, rubber parts, all good. Pedal rubbers are all good. Now, driver side seat has wear on the bolster here. Really common on these facelifted caddies. Uh, we will get this into our trimmers and we will get that repaired for you, okay? The seat itself, as you can see, clean and tidy other than that so i'd suggest we may well even get him to do this panel whilst he's doing that panel and then that should see you that'll be better than the factory then uh lights headlamp levelers and dashboard illumination here and the dashboard as it's on its uh, by itself is clean and tidy your steering wheel still got your factory finish or texture on it, I should say. Airbag, horn, all good. <clears throat> Get into the vehicle, turn it on. You need your foot on the clutch to fire it up. It fires up. As I say, airbag light is on at the moment because we've had the seats out to valet it. As part of our pre-delivery inspection, it will have a 110 point pre-delivery inspection check and an electronic health check where we'll reset all of that for you. Um, so that will all be sorted. Now you have your um, factory aircon over here, DAB, FM and AM stereo unit here, five speed manual gearbox, USB power and your 12 volt power there as well. And then just looking down the sides of the vehicle in between the seats, as I say, we've had it all out. It's all been cleaned. So it's all properly nice and clean down there. No old McDonald's wrappers and other people's rubbish. So there we go. So 94,201 miles. British Gas do keep the vans well from a servicing point of view. 
Um, however, um, we will sell it with a 12 months MOT, uh, 110 point PDI check and an electronic health check. Surfacing wise, we'll uh, cross reference the surfacing with what has been done with British Gas. If it hasn't had the cam belt done on it, we will get the cam belt done on it before it goes out the door. So don't worry about that, okay? Uh, and then surfacing wise, um, we will get it serviced according to what British Gas has done. Um, but um, yeah, surfacing, not a major issue for us. We'll just get it done if it needs it. Um, so quick summary, looks as though it needs one tire on it, doesn't it? Um, but overall, driver's seat repair, a couple of touch-ins, but I have to say, for the age and the miles, it's in cracking condition. Um, I think we over prepped them, but I would say that I own the company, don't I? But I think you're getting a nice, clean, straight, tidy van for your money. 70 odd photos on our website, which is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country, offering nationwide delivery, part exchange, and finance. Feel free to check out our reputation online. We are on Google, LinkedIn, Facebook and Instagram. And thanks for looking at the video. Might not be the most exciting 16 minutes of your life, but hopefully it's giving you a good idea of the van that you're thinking of purchasing. Cheers.